All right, you're listening to Radio Western 94.9. This is me, Preeta, and today I have with me one of our USC presidential candidates, Calista Ryan. Woo! Hey, how are you? Love the enthusiasm. Thanks for having me. No problem. How's it? How's everything? Good. Yeah, we just had the big media debate with the Gazette, so that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Definitely was- the first time. Yeah, it's the first time I've ever been to like a, a large debate like that. So definitely a great experience. And, and I, I think it went well and it was just, it was really yeah. well run. So yeah. Yeah, and you raised a lot of good points as well during the debate. So congratulations on that. Thank you. All right. So um, my first question is, we know that the Western community has constantly come under, come under scrutiny for not adhering the COVID-19 protocols with allegations Mm -hmm. ranging from the university being responsible for starting the second wave in London, as well as students being called out for not adhering to the protocol. So how do you plan Mm -hmm. on preventing such instances from happening? Yeah, I think one of the things we need to do as a campus community is having uh, student support systems in place to allow students to have a student experience without feeling like they need to to lash out or or go against guidelines. And so I really want to propose, again, following all COVID restrictions, because, you know, our health is 100% a priority, Mm -hmm. but making sure that we have, and on my platform, I touch on like outdoor activities and esports infrastructure as well, because we need to have that campus sense of community to ensure that, you know, students have something to do and to look forward to, so they don't feel like they need to break those rules. And I think one of the things that I'd like to commend is there are a lot of students who who do follow those rules. It's just, okay. there are a few that don't. And so I want to make sure that, you know, we stand up for students. We know that the entire student body isn't partying. Students really did well during um, FOCO this year. We mm-hmm. didn't see a right. lot of, you know, street parties, which was great. <laughs> so I think we got to commend the efforts of our student body for following those rules, but recognizing that some definitely don't and seeing what we can do to um, communicate those messages to them and give alternative programming that's safe. Yeah. Um, Also, how do you plan on bringing about clarity regarding the updates of the COVID-19 protocol, which is being followed in the university? Yeah, I think that's a great question because communication is key, especially with our health regulations. The University Students Council needs to be relaying all updates as soon as they come in. Because as we've learned through this pandemic, the regulations change pretty frequently, sometimes on a month to month basis. And we just learned about the lockdown extending as well. Students need to know what the regulations are so they can follow them. Right. Um, So recently, Western ranked eighth in terms of student experience, according to the Maclean 2021 University rankings, which is pretty low according to Western standard. Um, yeah. Keeping that in mind, do you think your policies will help regain the university status in being one of the best universities for student experience yeah. despite facing a pandemic? Yeah, absolutely. My proposal for the USC at its root is to bring a community based leadership style into the office of the president. I believe that the USC is is a promoter and a supporter of the student life on campus. And it needs to support the work that's being done by students in building a better student experience. And it all intersects our academic well-being, our financial well-being, our student events and programming, our peer support, our advocacy, our, our fight for justice on campus. They all intersect and they create a holistic picture of our student experience. And we need the USC needs to support all those students doing those uh, actions and work to bring that collaboration uh, to a greater degree and that I think will help bring our student experience together. It's it's not just student events. Our student experience is so much more than that and it's built off the back by student leaders and I just want to see the USC work with student leaders better to um, enhance our student experience in, at a holistic level. Mm, I see. So uh, throughout the debate I noticed that one topic which was constantly being laid emphasis on was mental health. And in August 2020, Western announced the creation of the PAR Center for Thriving to provide students with support for mental health care. So how will your policies aim to complement that of the center? Yeah, that's great. And I think, again, it all comes down to mental health is a holistic, it's a community issue. It 
how we address academic policy, how we direct, um, how we support students and residents and, and resident staff and SOFs as well, how we run uh, campus events during a pandemic, all those link into, all those link into mental health. And so one of the things that I noticed is that Western has the resources and it adds resources. And I think, you know, there's a lot of more money being put in by admin to mental health. And I think that's fantastic. The number one feedback I got from students is that they don't know where to go and there's too many things. So when they look up for support, they don't know how to access it. So on my platform, I touch on, and this is very feasible, very affordable. The USC could get it done in a month, really, is having an OWL page of all the health and wellness resources on this campus and working with the university, because uh, clearly the university has made this a priority. That's fantastic. We need to be working with them to ensure that students know where to go, who to call, and what the terms are. Mm -hmm. One of the issues students have also brought up is, is they don't know what support is the right for them, right support for them. Right. Like we can explain on those tabs on an owl page, like this is the difference between uh, a psychotherapist and a psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. And here's where your purple care funds both of those and how right. much you have a year to spend. So that's something that's really important to me. I think, you know, there's a lot of work to be done uh, in that area. And we need to work on that communication of our, of our mental health and health and wellness services on campus. Right, right. Um, also, you laid a lot of emphasis on the tuition fee, especially for this year, because it was hiked up so much that even international students like me, yeah. they were also kind of in the fix. Uh, yeah. What should we do? Should we like pay it, not pay it? Like yeah. after? Uh, and one really interesting fact you mentioned was you wanted to increase communication regarding the tuition fee breakdown. So could you elaborate more on that? Yeah, for sure. And that's, that's huge for international student policies. What the biggest feedback I got from international students, and I was an international student last year too, is mm -hmm. that students got communicated with the tuition hike so late in the year that it really both messed up a lot of students' plans on, on paying those fees or wasn't enough communication by the university. One of the things I have in my policies is a, um, a tuition uh, plan for international students. So incoming international students will get a good sense of how much their tuition will cost over their four to five years at Western. Western right. needs to communicate that to students. students. Students shouldn't be charged halfway through their degree an additional amount that they weren't expecting. And you know, of course, none of us were expecting a pandemic, but students are expecting the university to communicate effectively and support students as they pursue their undergraduate career at Western, even if they're international students. They international students deserve fair communication uh, and and budgets. They deserve to budget properly and effectively, and that's not happening under the current um, current administration. Right. And, I, and I want to fight for that to change. Right. Um, so. Another thing which I have seen as a student at Western is that a common trouble for international students is applying for work study positions because it's only available for domestic students or students who are a permanent resident of Canada. How do you plan on addressing this? Yeah, that's a great question. One of the points in my platform is to increase um, coordinator uh, uh, fees as well. Coordinator roles are volunteer honorarium positions, but international students, and there are quite a few international students that work as coordinators. So increasing those, um, increasing those fees can support international students who pursue those paid roles, which I think is fantastic. We have a few amazing international students in those roles, including the international student support coordinator as well. And so that's something I'd love to see. And again, like working with the International uh, Student Support Center, how can the USC communicate jobs and programming and provide financial literacy programming to international students as well? And again, kind of increasing that communication between I think there's a disconnect between the International Student Support Center and the USC. So maybe bridging that gap and seeing what we can do to, um, yeah, get better work study programs. That's definitely, definitely would be a great idea, especially with COVID and a lot of financial constraints um, added to our campus community. Mm -hmm. Last but not the least, any message for the Western community? Yeah. I'd love for you to check out my campaign. It really is summarized in three words that amalgamate into one, affordability, community, and ethics, ACE. I'd love for you to uh, reach out and talk about why I think a community-based leadership style is, is what the USC needs to address our problems on campus. The USC can't do everything. We need to be working with students 
to solve these problems together. And I, I think I have a great uh, grip and vision to do that. And yeah, feel free to check out my platform. You can also listen to it out loud as well. Um, if you want to eat dinner, or clean your room, you can listen to my voice and talk, talk about my policies. I'd love for you to check it out and reach out to me or my team, Vote Callista on all socials and get in touch. And you can sign up for a coffee chat with me too. We're doing a live stream League of Legends game with the League of Legends uh, team at Western on Thursday night. So check that out as well. Um, and yeah, we have a lot of events throughout this week, so I'd love to get to know you all. And thanks for listening. All right. Then thank you so much, Calista, for joining us. And Western, don't forget to vote on the Feb 1st and Feb 2nd. Don't yes. forget your vote matters the most. Your voice matters. This is me. Yes, I agree. Guys.